chocolate fudge and red balloons Argyle socks and the blue suede shoes A stroll in Central Park with you Bare feet on sands in Malibu Drinks at two in Welcome to Richard B. Ranning. I am your host, Richard Gustafson. I said your host, Richard Gustafson, and I am stretching because last week, ranting tired me out. So I worked on my cardio at the gym, doing a little bit of stretching here. By the way, let me do this real quick. There we go. And let's get to ranting. Anthony Weiner has once again been sexting women. And will that boy learn? This time, though, his wife, Uma Abedin, has decided to end the marriage. She said after long and painful consideration and hard work on the marriage, she has decided to separate from her husband. Anthony Weiner was not reached for comment after she made these comments. There's more comments, though. He made it before the comments. Basically saying that the person that he sexted to this time had been friends with him for quite a while. Again, have we not learned anything from the first time, Anthony? Mr. Wiener? And I'm going to say this. If you're giggling right now because I said Mr. Wiener, I don't blame you. I'm giggling too. A little bit on the inside. Some of us have not mentally gone out of junior high. And, of course, we'll say something here soon. Bet you anything. Probably time of this tape, and he may say something. And hate to say it, but if he wants to try to text somebody, like, say, Nora O'Donnell of CBS News, don't open it, Nora. Don't. Ask him for a face-to-face -face interview. And I'm going to also say that your last name is Wiener. How fitting that the last name Wiener is in a sex scandal. Speaking of weird scandals... Tom Brady will begin his suspension for the first four weeks of the NFL regular season this Friday from his role in Deflategate. Tom Brady said, It will be challenging watching games in September. I'm just going to have to find ways to preoccupy my mind. Wow. It's going to be challenging for you to sit in front of a television and enjoy a weekend of football in a mansion that's probably worth more than I'll ever make in my entire life. Hmm. That is challenging, Tom. I'll pray for you, buddy. And preoccupying your mind. Hold on. You got a supermodel wife and you got adorable children. What else can you do to preoccupy yourself from football? I got it. You can Netflix and chill. With your supermodel wife. And finally to end on a pretty positive note, country superstar Tim McGraw this weekend surprised a couple at a wedding by performing his song, My Little Girl. And not only that, but at the reception, he also performed, some are saying, 11 songs. Which, if you're counting, if you've gone to concerts, is in fact a concert. And it's so cool that he did that. Tim McGraw, I salute you, and I will say, if Tulay Crew is watching this, I want you guys to be ready for my wedding. And obviously, the big surprise was Tim McGraw at this wedding this weekend. The big surprise at my wedding, that there's a wedding, and I'm in it, and I'm marrying a woman. There's your surprise. It'll freak everybody out. Yeah! That's my time. Yep, I don't feel like taking a nap. I do want to thank you guys for joining me this week. I appreciate all the likes, appreciate all the shares, and do share this episode, like this episode, subscribe to me, and you all have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. Chocolate fudge and red balloons Argyle socks and the blue suede shoes A stroll in Central Park with you Bare feet on sands in 
Malibu Drinks at two in the afternoon